Higher education is a transformational process. <clears throat> the fact is, we are in the business of changing people's lives. Great responsibility over that. We empower people to make choices and to seek careers in, in areas that they never even thought about that even we can't conceive of today, looking into the future. As such, higher education must address the whole person. You can't just spout information at people. And you be aware of how they receive it, how they integrate it into their knowledge and into their lives. And hopefully you will tell them use it in the future. <clears throat> This is the purpose of the college, university college. We'll get back to that in a few minutes. Higher education is a partnership. Higher education must occur as a partnership between faculty and students. When we go into a classroom, we go into a laboratory, we interact with students, and we are seeking certain successes and learning outcomes. Who's responsible for that? Both are. What percentage are they responsible for? It? A hundred percent each. This former process is facilitated and empowered when this partnership uh, at the student faculty level is integrated into understandings that occur at the faculty administration level, so that the administration is in tune with what the faculty and students are doing. Each of these partnerships is dependent and must be responsive to the community. You cannot ignore the world outside and what that world is demanding of the people that we're training in the for the future. So once again, interdisciplinary work and partnerships among faculty, colleges, universities, and even global organizations, non-governmental organizations, and, and other, even other governments, will increasingly become important. So let's talk about the university college. The university college intent is to surround the student, the student that comes through the door here with a system of support. A system of support that will help them with financial aid and counseling, in terms of finances, loans, etc., their emotional and mental health, their physical health. If they have learning skills, uh, deficiencies or, or disabilities, we need to address those and, and support them in that. And then also to look forward to their lot, their own lives, their own choices. What careers can they choose? And uh, have they thought of all the possibilities that are out there? And there are a bunch of other things that we can add into the, the uh, university college model that will support students in the same way. And we're also working on a way, similar support system for transfer students to come in with from community colleges rather than high schools. Our students. <clears throat> Every student that we interact with at Southern Illinois University becomes an ambassador. And that can either be a positive force acting to enhance our status and future strength, or they can become negative ambassadors and negative force detracting from our growth and reputation. There is no other choice. So our interactions, we, as we enter into interactions with students, as we bring them to campus and enroll them, as we talk to them at open houses, as we give them campus tours, as our faculty talk to them at, at high schools or uh, community colleges. <clears throat> we need to be conscious of this, that they either become ambassadors for good or ambassadors for negative things. Uh, and so uh, being conscious of that, I hope, will guide our, our conduct and uh, our behavior uh, with regard to our, our, our prospective students and those that we interact with on a daily basis. 
Diversity among faculty, students, and administrators enriches the educational process. It's a firm belief from my life experience, as well as my own commitment, <clears throat> that increasing diversity is a fact of our history, our present, and our future. Uh, a diverse faculty and administration enhance the diversity of students. Students will come to an institution that has a spectrum of people, gender, ethnic, racial, religious, uh, and seek to affiliate with people that are like them. If we embrace that fact of diverse cultural, uh, aesthetic, ethical perspectives that are out there in the world and incorporate that into our educational process, this will be a very, very rich place to learn. Uh, and furthermore, embracing diversity prepared our students for a global, addressing global issues cannot be isolated. And we used to talk about globalization as if it was something in the future. Globalization is. It's today. It's here. It's now. 